Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Mary. And I'm Sally, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Friday, December 4th, Reindeer Day. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Student Council will be hosting a homecoming dance on Friday, January 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 in the Commons area. The dress code dance will be semi-formal, which means no jeans, shorts, or t-shirts will be allowed. You must wear dress pants, collared shirts, skirts, or dresses. As we have done in the past, no restrictions will be placed on dresses as far as straps. We do ask that the dresses be secure enough that we do not have any wardrobe malfunctions and are long enough to be appropriate. Tickets will only be sold in advance on January 28th and 29th. You must have paid all obligations in order to purchase a $5 ticket. Who doesn't love UK basketball and Buffalo Wild Wings? Next Wednesday, December 9th at Buffalo Wild Wings, you can watch the game, eat some wings, and tell them that you are there to support the Apollo cheerleaders. 10% of your check will be donated back to the cheer team as they pursue a national championship and appearance on ESPN. Hope to see many of you there supporting your AHS cheerleaders. Okay, so um, we're here to talk to you about the Sombrero Showdown, which is a fundraiser for the Spanish Honor Society. This year, uh, the Spanish Honor Society is new. Um, this fundraiser actually goes for us to go to a convention. With the Spanish Honor Society, we want to um, just help the Hispanic population in Owensboro and also to um, change opinions that we might have about the Hispanic population. You know that I announced that we were going to have this um, Sombrero Showdown all this week, but we're actually going to change that because um, of Nickel Wars. It's so important for um, Apollo families to have a great Christmas. Next week we're going to resume um, Thursday and Friday. Here we have <clears throat> the top three winners of Sombrero Showdown right now. Miss Fallen is in the lead with about $26, whereas the others are falling behind a little bit. So especially freshmen, you need to put in your money to see Mr. Mr. Owens wear the sombrero. So just donate and it'll be fun. Good morning guys, I just want to tell you how excited I am to do the Sombrero Challenge. So uh, make sure you bring your money that day and uh, vote for the person you want to wear the sombrero because that day is going to be mucho grande. Estos gentes valientes están compiten y ponen el sombrero y comen la pimiente muy picante. Okay, Miss um, Miss Julian sent us up here to talk about the link, and in case you don't know, it's an FCA for female athletes, and it'll be December eighth at seven forty, so that's next Tuesday, and it's in room seven hundred one, and the guest speaker will be Sierra Woods from the women's basketball team at KWC, and all female athletes are welcome, and that's it. The girls' JV basketball team defeated Owensboro Catholic last night. Allie Page Kirkland with 12 points, followed by Lexi Shadow on with 10. The JV and varsity resume play tonight as they travel to play Henderson County. Anyone interested in any aspect of filmmaking should attend the first meeting on the Filmmakers Club Monday, December 7th, immediately after school in room 408. 
Intramural basketball sign-up forms are now available in the guidance office. Get your team, pick up a form, and return it to the guidance office by Monday afternoon. See Mr. Johnson and guidance with any questions. Yeah. I know we just signed a deal, but I need my advance on the next one, too. They know I'm going to do it. Yeah. Some really big rings, they need some really nice things. Better be coming with no strings. Team, man, what a Hi, I'm here with Miss Mays, the girls' basketball coach. Miss Mays, what do you expect out of the girls this season? Well, I'm really excited about this season. We have a lot of new faces, young faces that are going to have to step up. What have y'all done to prepare for this season? Well, um, I am confident that our um, conditioning routine is tougher than any girls basketball team in the state of Kentucky, so we're in great shape. When is your next game? Um, <clears throat> excuse me, we play, um, I believe, Monday the 7th against Meade County, and then um, I believe that same week we play Davis County at home. So we um, really need um, all the fans, students, faculty, staff to come support the e basketball team. You should come out and support the e this year. We're going to have a good team and it'll be fun to watch. What have y'all done to prepare for this season? Well, you know, we've been practicing since October 15th and uh, been working extremely hard. Uh, we're a young team. I think by the end of the season, uh, people will uh, have to really prepare to beat Apollo. Uh, we play Davis County next Friday night. And uh, we're going to try to sell the place out. And uh, it's a first district game. And as everyone knows, the Davis County games are big rival games. So we're looking for all the fans, all the support that we can get, and uh, look forward to having uh, some really good games. Sounds like an exciting season. Get ready, Paul, and support your Eagles. Yo, what's up, everybody? Your first home game is December 11th. Come check us out at the Eagle Arena. The Apollo tennis teams will have practice this Saturday afternoon at Center Court on Biddle Road from 2 to 3.30 p.m. It will cost each of you $5 to play indoors. Please try to attend. Mr. May would like to congratulate Apollo's STLP showcase team of Matthew Cates, Patrick Claypax, and Emma O'Brien. They presented a showcase on music technology and received a 98 out of 100. Great job. On today's lunch menu in the Mama's Kitchen line, we will be having... Pork chop with gravy, mashed potatoes, corn, pinto beans, biscuit, sliced tomato, fruit choice, and cookie. In the Global Fair line, fajita or pizza, refried beans, Mexican rice, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, chicken, peanut butter and jelly, grilled chicken, tater gems, veg veggies and dip, Caesar salad, fruit choice, and cookie. In the sub and salad bar, chef salad, or veggies and dip, fruit choice, and cookie. We'd like to wish the following co-curricular activities good luck as they participate in events this weekend. The girls basketball team as they travel to play Henderson County tonight with the JV playing at 6 and the varsity at 7.30. And tomorrow as the girls play Ohio County and the wrestling, wrestling team as they travel to compete in the Oldham County and Super Duels tomorrow. And don't forget as part of the 12 days of Christmas, Monday is Red and Green Day. We hope to see everyone participating and showing their holiday and school spirit. Thank you and have a great weekend. The pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.